Shalom everyone, it's called Torah, it's at uh, 12 o'clock on Tuesday. And uh, first I would like to say hello to all the campers in Camp Darom uh, that are uh, going to see this called Torah alive uh, alongside with all of you who are watching it today. Uh, just to give you a little update, Camp Darom is doing great. It's our camp that uh, our shul is running for close to 34 years and it's uh, something that we are very proud of. Uh, it's a camp that um, serves Memphis kids and out-of-town kids uh, from small communities around our area that for some of them is really the only time that they can be uh, with um, our Memphis kids and really being inspired to do uh, all sorts of good things in their life. So um, hello again to all our campers and we will talk about Parashat Balak today. In Parashat Balak, as we know, the king of Moab is hiring Bilam, the magician, to curse the Jewish people and to cause their annihilation. And there is one verse that I would like to focus on and to try to discuss today. And this is the following verse. That when Bilam goes and go from place to place, from location to location, to try to find the right place to look at the Jewish people and to curse them, it says in one of the times that Vayar Misham, and he saw from there, Ktse Aam. So what does it mean, Ktse Aam? Katse, what is the word Katse means? So really there are two interpretations. One interpretation is, from Ktsinim Shebaim. What does it mean? From the officers, from the top people, from the elite of the Jewish people. And the other opinion says exactly the opposite from those people who are really not top people, the lowest of the lowest. So in very simple words, I would say that the, Torah, the Talmud discussed the word katse from two different perspectives. That Bilam looked according to one opinion on the elite group of the people, and according to the other opinion, exactly the opposite, for the lowest group among the Jewish people. And I would like to discuss these two opinions. What was Bilam looking for? What is the message that he was looking at Ktsea'am, at the best of the people or the lowest of the people? What does it mean? And I would like to suggest to you the following idea. If you want to try to learn about the nature of a nation or a group, one of the ways to do it, or one of the methods to do it, is to look at the extremes. When you have the extremes on the right and the left, you can somewhat maybe make a decision on the 80%. You know, you look at the 10% here, the right, and the 10% on the left, so you can know what is the 80% look like. Also, if you know how the extremist, or how the extreme groups behave, you can also try to reflect on the other 80% in the center. Bilam was looking according to the first opinion on the elite group. He wanted to see how the top 10% among the Jewish people behave. How is their ethical behaviors? How is their approach towards Judaism, towards other people? And by looking at them, he wanted to see one of two options. If they don't behave, he can curse the Jewish people and say, even if the top 10% don't behave, even more so the other 80% don't know what to do. But if they do behave, and if they know how to be ethical and moral, and how to lead the people, so therefore, Bilam could come into a conclusion that the other 80 or 90 percent also will follow along with these 10 percent top people. On the flip side, maybe Bilam was looking really at the 10 percent that what I will call the lowest level among the Jewish people. And he wanted to see how do they behave. And to basically claim if they don't behave, probably the other people don't care about them. And therefore he could curse the Jewish people. But, if he would find that they do behave, and they do know what to do, so obviously the credit goes to the other people as well. So if I would like to put it in very simple terms, 
something that be, will be very relevant to each one of us. So how do I do it? How can I take this message that it seems to be a little complicated with numbers, with percentage, how do I put it in a very simple words, simple message? So, I would like to suggest the following way. In every society, we have extremes. extremes. We have, you can call it right, you can call it left. But in every society, but you know what, leave society, every individual has what I will call normal behaviors, and then you have extremes. And we all need to understand that we cannot be defined by our extremes. Our job is really to try to balance and to try to bring closer our extremes into what I will call more of a balanced way. Our thoughts, our feelings cannot be influenced or what I will call heavily influenced by extremes. We need to find Derech HaMelech, the path of the king, the right path for us. When we hear an extreme thought or an extreme experience, we should not follow it because extremism most of the time led for destructions. What we need to know is to see the extreme behaviors that are around us and to learn what not to do. In the end of Parshat Balak, we hear about the extreme act of Pinchas. This was one incident and not anymore. We don't learn from Pinchas how to be a zealous, how to do extreme things. Rather, we need to learn from Pinchas how to bring shalom, how to bring peace. The world around us pushes us to be extreme. What do you hear on the news? Only extreme stories. Only extreme statement of people who say extreme things that you cannot even listen sometimes, but that makes the news. Because it's, it's catchy. People are hearing and like to listen to extreme statements. We should not follow it. It's not for us. What we need to believe in and to push for is balanced opinions. Moderate opinions. Opinions that make sense and not extreme things. What Bilam was looking was for extreme things. He wanted to hear extreme statements, extreme behaviors, in order to reflect negatively on the entire Jewish people. But really what our focus should be is not on the extremist, it's not on extreme things, but rather of how we can lead and guide our lives in a balanced and moderate way. Thank you.